Well, welcome to Pitbull Audio. My name is Florentino. I am the CEO of Entertalk Radio, and we are here with Sabian, and they've come out to us. We didn't have to go to them this time. They are here with us, and I'm with Andy, the president of Sabian, uh, Andy Zildjian. So say hello to everybody, Andy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Yes. <laughs> so this is really exciting, man. Most of the time, people want to get to the, the factories, but mm. you actually brought the factory here to us. How did this all start? Well, it started, we used to have folks up to the factory a lot. We'd bring them up to, to Canada, but mostly it was store owners or some of the people who worked at the stores, which is great because they'd come up, they'd see how we manufactured uh, our instruments, they'd see all the work that went into it, all the passion that was there, and they'd take that home and they'd explain it to people. But it didn't quite have the same because you're translating you're going from yeah, yeah. you know telephone to telephone that kind of thing it it didn't quite have the same catch as if as when we had some people up who were players who were are, you know regular players and um, they got so excited about it and we were just chatting one day about how do we get to show everybody what we do how do we how do we um, communicate this passion uh, as best we can instead of going through the telephone and um, somebody just said well, why don't we bring them, why don't we just go out and see them mm -hmm. and bring it to them and from that point every, you know the ideas started clicking yeah. how do we do this what do we bring how does it happen and we all knew well we couldn't bring out the ovens because yeah, yeah. you know 1600 degrees it's kind of hard to, to bring something out that'll do that yeah, yeah. Um, and also the rolling mills they're way too big but we figured you know, what we could do is take after the hot process yeah. and bring out a hand hammerer to show what hand hammering is all about because there are some people who think that you can't hand hammer a symbol yeah, yeah, but seriously yeah. i've had people say you can't do that and like really yeah. what's that guy doing there's a master <laughs> craftsman right outside right now right. we'll right. probably we'll be showing a bit of the b-roll here in, sure. this, in this video yeah. now that that's amazing because People are actually buying symbols right now that are being made right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, when when you have when you have a, a hand hammer and you have the lathe guys, yeah, yeah. and they can make just about anything within a, a, a size range that doesn't need any type of special hammering on top of yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah, you make it and we do it here. We, we've actually had guys who come in and they've said, "I really want this hi hat sound." And and uh, Mark, who's the guru, yeah. I'm, you, you give him an eye. You tell him what sound you're looking for. He already knows what needs to be done to make it happen. He's excellent. And um, he'll tell to, to Dwight, say, we're looking for this kind of top and this kind of bottom. Dwight hammers it out. He gives it to Allie. Allie Kugel just lathes it and done. And we had, oh, we had a set of hi-hats. We had two rides. And we've had people bring in their own symbols, too, to get a little dried out so that because they thought they were a little yeah, too yeah. washy, dry them out with the hand hammering or, or just to loosen them up. All types of things like that. These are the cool things that you can do when you make instruments like this by hand and in, bringing it around in the parking lot of Pitbull Audio. absolutely so yeah that's pretty cool so we do have a selection of symbols here yep. can you tell us a little bit about these ones well sure I like like this one right here the uh, the Paragon ride the idea with this was Neil Peart mm -hmm. had been playing um, he played uh, we used to be part of Zildjian company yes yes and um, he always had the rides that yeah. were made up in Canada mm -hmm. he didn't know that <laughs> so so he was he was going through and he was playing and every, every once in a while he'd need to get something replaced and he couldn't get the right sound I didn't know why and he couldn't figure it out and then one day somebody who was a mutual friend said well, well of course I know why all the stuff that you got was made in Canada and so he asked us if we could make something like we did and of course sent it right to him and he yeah. thought I found it and um, anyway he put a few more um, a few more changes into it. The bell's a little yeah. bit different than the old style, but but came up with the sound that he was really looking for, and bang, here it is. And um, evolution. This one is uh, Dave Weckel was looking for a sound. Same thing. He was he was looking for a specific sound. He couldn't get it from the company he was with at that point. Um, asked us if we could do it. Yeah, 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 of course we could. No problem. When you make it by hand and you have the craftsmen that know how to do this stuff, you can make it happen. Yep. 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 And uh, so. All of these weren't made here, but we have a bunch of them that are made down there. So we'll be rolling some of that B-roll here sure. shortly. Hmm. What would you like the, the the viewers to know? You know, what would be the last message you'd like them to know as we kind of conclude this interview? Um, I suppose really the the most simple thing is that you, the type of passion that you have for your sound. That's the type of passion that we have up in Canada to to make the best sounding instruments to be able to let you express yourself the way you want to. So what you're looking for. Um, the type of dedication that you have to your craft, that's what we've got going on in Canada. These people really do care. Um, 
I love cymbals. <laughs> Which, right. Thank God I got the right gig, right? <laughs> I love cymbals. And, and the way they sound, the, the energy that they project, everything is just fantastic. So if you're looking for something that can really take that energy, take that, that um, creativity that you've gotten you, check them out. Sabian Cymbals, everybody. This is Florentino Buenaventura from Enter Talk Radio. We're here with Andy Zildjian from Sabian. Amazing day. Wish you all were here. Maybe you are. Maybe you're watching this and you were here. So thanks again, and we'll be back down there getting some more good stuff. And thanks to Pitbull Audio. <laughs> Thank you.